Good afternoon, everybody. Um, we're well. I've got a commission for my well. It's a request for my husband's daughter, Elizabeth, Lizzie. She requested shades of blue with a deep purple swipe. So I've got the deep purple. All the colours um, the same I normally made up. I made all these different blues. Um, I probably won't put them all into it, but I will go more, you know, putting the blues in. I'm thinking that it probably should have, and I've made up a little bit of um, metallic copper because I think all those blues, it may very well um, need something in between. So I've made, I know it's got the silver and I have got some white I can put in, but I'm going to do a spiral. So a spiral pour, or should I call it a spider's web? So I'm going to do, yeah, and I'm going to use my little nifty, Swifty swipe, my nifty swifty swipe. Um, these colours that I'm working with are basically all um, Montmartre, uh, no, sorry, global paints because I have loads of global paints left um, to work with, so it'll keep me quite a few months. But I am trying to uh, work over it, so I'm mostly working with the Montmartre paints and I'll customise my colours to go because they're far more consistent in uh, texture and quality so I'm heading towards doing that so but we'll see how we go because you should never say never should you so these are the colors I'm uh, probably going to put in but like I said probably not everyone so I'll explain them as I go along I'll put that little card on my um, acrylic art website uh, acrylic art by Jilly cube on facebook i'll put the colors and i'll put some um, photos of when it's the different stages and when it's dry and i'll also add at the bottom of this video will be a drop down box where i put my pouring medium what i use to make the pouring medium that went into these particular paints so i'm going to get right into it and get started and I think I'm going to lay this is a deep navy I'm not going to put too much in but I do want some in there getting all these bits flying we we have got lots of fires around us and um yeah getting all sorts of things floating around like especially dusty things so anyway here we go so doing the spiral spider's nasty kind of thing didn't want to put too much that's the very dark navy now this is a teal or a it was it is the global turquoise but I did add a little I had a blob of blue to darken it up a bit uh, to this particular one so if you watched any of my acrylic pouring before you know that I make a lot of the custom colors I just change shades to you know be a bit more interesting in there so I'll cover the corners with this gorgeous turquoise. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna add this gorgeous. Now this was white and I just added a small blob of blue to send it this like baby, baby blue kind of color. So I've got a video there on some of my custom colors to do another one of the custom colors in the future so this is a big spider's wet pour I'm calling it yeah my dog's out there it's so windy again today getting a lot of wind that's what we call in Australia August winds we seem to have a lot of winds in August for whatever reason um, she's actually barking at the wind that's blowing the trees and uh, boxes and things around that we've got float. Well, I don't know if boxes, but things that are floating around out there. She's 
bark in her own shadow basically for a very intelligent dog she's um doing some in unintelligent things but that's life isn't it we all do that okay so that's those now i will throw in um the it's called the warm blue that's the warm blue into the mix what she's asked for blues 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 but of course needs a little bit of contrast in there do the spiral Oop, gone a bit overboard there didn't i all that dog <laughs> can't believe it every time i start a video either the dog or the husband the dog or the husband just putting this last little bit of the teal in there I'll pop it in the center doesn't matter about okay i think i've got enough blues in there lizzie i'm gonna add a bit of white do your spiral go around getting some of that color in there okay now i'm going to try and tilt this but without losing the spirally shape if you get my drift so it's sort of just backwards and forwards in to make sure all the canvas is covered in paint but not i just want to keep that circly thing which i'm not doing a very good job at the moment so right now back just keep recentering the paint bringing the paint back to the center and just do it really nice and slowly actually do look lovely colors together okay come down here come down so she requested this deep maroon she has red but she said no deeper um, and i have done a dark maroon or dark um, purple whatever you would call it okay i'll recenter on it i don't want to lose my spirally shape so it's always amazing as lots of people are, are saying on the that you do what you look at it at this point and then what you actually end up with is yeah it's quite it is quite a, a morphing process isn't it a relaxing morphing progress a uh, process yeah get my words wrong okay i'm just lifting some of the paint that's under the lip of this and then that's what you can just finger pop the edges with as they still look just as nice when finished so lizzie has requested balloon balloon work in this so i will be doing some balloon kissing and um rolling we'll see as we go but i think i've got something in there i will try and get uh, my buggery bugger bug e what you call them bug eraser trying to look for some little um, tweezers that I know I've got there but I don't know what this ah gooby thing is in there oh, I think it's just the, some skin off the paint don't usually worry me too much because I just think of it as organic material has gone into that artwork so those blues look quite lovely Kept, sort of kept the spiral shape on it um now no 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 is for this oh i didn't put any silver in there okay that's all right i'm not going to load it with any more paint so this is like a really deep deep purple so what did i add to this i started with the purple then i added a blob of blue and a blob of the deep red just to send it even like an aubergine color 
it's really quite a deep and I'm really hoping this is the colour that Lizzie wants so I'll just sort of do a bit of a spiral in this too this is obviously going to be the swipe colour but I will keep my blob in the centre And what I found with this swipey, swifty swipe tool that I made, doing the kind of that ooh, works better with my swifty swipe. So, Lizzie, here we go. If you don't like it, I'll go to plan B and try another one till I get it right. So, she said she does watch. So here goes, this is my Swifty Swipe tool that I made myself and I've done them in different sizes for different swipes. I've ovaled the end up because they're great for these spiral swipes. So you just basically do the same as what I was do with my, and just, just let the tip go in your paint and swipe outwards. And I think Lizzie, this deep crimson is gonna take over a bit, but It'll be all fine in the end. Somebody will love it. <laughs> okay. That's really quite hard. I mean, I hardly really put any of that deep purple in, but look at that. But after we've worked on it and balloon kissed it and balloon rolled it and done lots of other cool stuff in it, it all completely change, but this is the fun bit. This tool, I'm absolutely loving my Swifty Swipe. I'm loving it. Well, I've, I've been mostly using it for these spiral pores, but I'm going to try it on different pores because different kinds of pores and swipes. Because you get, I don't know, it just gets a sort of really lovely um, effect from it in the end. So yes, make yourself up one of these. Somebody suggested that I make it and patent it, but I think I'll leave that to the younger ones to do. Just send me a box of chocolates or something nice, that's all I ask. <laughs> Pay for a cup of coffee, I'm a coffee queen. I love going out and having nice coffee with friends. That's what my sons call me, the coffee queen. But then again, they're just as bad because they will, Steve and our son will ring me up and say, come on, let's go for coffee. So he loves it just as much as I do. In wherever country he's visited, he always finds the nice coffee places. Sends us photos and his partner. And she sends us photos of nice coffee. How weird is that? Karina's an air hostess for Qantas. And yeah, she sends Stephen, the son, all the photos of the nice coffee places she finds when she's overseas. So yeah, we're coffee lovers. Oh, now I've gone and put a blob on there. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to use some of this colour for the edge that I've missed out this side. Gorgeous. Well, that kind of is looking a bit too crimson, I think. Maybe even for Lizzie, but I can't. Never say never. Let's see what it turns out like. And hopefully she may love it. But if not, got plenty of paint to do another one. <laughs> wow. That's quite nice actually. I can see that it will be nice. So, got my butane torch, the big butane torch. As I tell you each time, please have a oh, um, fire extinguisher handy. Just sort of giving this a waggle. Don't keep it on your canvas for longer than not even a second. Just keep and keep changing the end that you're working on so one end doesn't heat up. Oh, I love, I love that area there where that, oh, there's always gorgeous areas and there's another lovely area coming up over here. Ooh, 
Ew, look at that. Is that a bit of... Okay, that's enough. And there is some gorgeous cells coming off that are cells within cells. Like that has got the crimson or whatever, aubergine, somebody tell me the correct colour of that. Claret and it's got the white and it's got a, a teal and then it's got the white. It's got like um, cells within cells. So many gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous cells. Now, what I'm gonna do for this moment, because this paint, it will be quite, um, there's plenty of paint on this canvas. So I'm gonna go away for half an hour, leave it, and it'll, it'll absorb a little way into the canvas. It'll self level, as long as you've got a level surface and it will the cells will stretch and then i'm going to come back and do some balloon work on it so and those cells will stretch out a little further i'll tell you from up here it does not look nowhere near as gorgeous as it looks down on the canvas look at those you can see them those cells absolutely gorgeous so see you in five, uh, 30 okay. minutes. Okay, okay, we're back again. So I've probably left this one about 40 minutes. As you can see, some of the cells have elongated and stretched a little bit, but not overly. It's still, it's absolutely gorgeous actually. I really, really like it. The colors just look like these blue gems, blue opals, they're really pretty. So okay, I've got my crazy balloon lady rock and rolling and kissing blue. So we're gonna give it a go and hopefully see what we can bring up in it. Obviously I'll start in the center. Okay, all oh, this paint is fairly dry. <laughs> Maybe I've left it a little bit too long, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is pretty, pretty. Can I give it another one off the canvas? So gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is a good one. Look what the balloon rolling brings up. And all those really pretty colours underneath that we layered it with are now going to shine. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, there's some beautiful cells there. I don't like dipping when they're, or balloon kissing when the cells are so gorgeous. But even if you do, look, I mean, there's like ferny like effect it gives just so beautiful. So it's putting it, putting your balloon in. It's not just rolling, it's, you know, you can twist it in a, a U shape or a curve. Just give it a try, just press it in and roll it off. If there's a little area like that and you didn't like it, then wait till the paint resettles and then just give it another, just a balloon kiss into that. But that is pretty gorgeous, pretty, pretty gorgeous. So I really hope Lizzie likes this one because that's really nice, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Just give it a little roll in there. Look at those colors come up. It's really, really pretty. Where are we? So you get the gist, look at that. Really don't want to do too much more to that because that is so nice. I am quite surprised myself because I thought that the um, the deep purple swipe was going to take over it too much, but it doesn't appear to have done that. It's held some lovely cells in there. That is gorgeous, really gorgeous. really really gorgeous 
yeah, the sales that I'm getting the last few days, um, different batch of, um, this is the Montmart, no, sorry, this is the Elmer's Glue All, um, but I may have made it a bit thicker or thinner because I don't wet measure anything, so obviously that has to do, if I probably make the um, Elmer's Glue All and water, with more a little bit more water then maybe I get uh, different the bigger cells and maybe less water the smaller cells or vice versa but um, but either way I love it both ways <laughs> so to speak um, I'm gonna leave that and that is stunning in fact I thought that I'd done that particular color um, the particular colors together before but I, can, I know that I haven't got that in my photographs in my brain that I've done that particular colour combo. So that is stunning, stunning, stunning. I'll try and bring you down on this a little bit more. They, the cells, the effect of the balloon rolling. I don't know, it's like that swipey tool gives going out from the centre out. It just gives you a whole different look on the whole of the canvas. That is just stunningly beautiful. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you guys for subscribing and all your wonderful comments. Um, let me know what you think about this and whether you'd give this one a go. And until next time, see you then.